Howdy train fans, welcome back to the Chattanooga Southern Railroad. Um, just thought I'd share uh, a couple of my uh, woodworking tricks with you in case you're trying to do something like this and you've got to cut some really odd shaped pieces like I did over there on the far side, that angular 45 degree piece. Um, and I mentioned that I use cardboard uh, for those mappings, so to speak. And you'll see I'm in uh, a clamp forest here. You can't see the other two, they're off on the other side. But what I've done is I've clamped up my front uh, fascia support here uh, and made sure that it lines up with everything across the pieces that I have in place. But what I've got to do right now, because this, this is a break point here between the two sections of the layout, the main four by eight sheet, or four by eight section and this other, uh, the, the uh, sugar alley uh, section, and I still wanna be able to pull these apart. Um, I don't wanna connect a long piece all the way across all of this. What I wanna do is put a, another support piece here back to this stanchion that's back here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I do this. So what I did is I cut um, a piece of cardboard, three and a half inches wide, which is basically a one by four width, okay? Uh, and somewhere around here, I have a pencil. Yep, I do, right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this piece of cardboard up against this piece, and I'm gonna slide it forward if I can, and I can't. Well, thought I had it figured out. All right, I'll reclamp that to give myself a little more room. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it up on top here, I'm gonna line it up with this edge against this edge because this is the break point. I'm gonna slide this forward and you see it, it just clears um, out here, okay? And so what I'm gonna do now is now that I've got that in place, I'm gonna hold it back here. I'm gonna draw a line back here to show where this cut's gonna be. And then with that in place, what I'm gonna try to do, uh -huh, if I can, is take a couple quick marks, one right here where it meets this, and then since this is a front face, I'm gonna draw a line there. Now, that being said, I don't know if you can see that, if I get it in the light. So what I have is a line here and a mark here, and I can connect those, and that gives me the angle for this front section. On the back side, underneath, is that 45 or whatever close to 45 it is for the back piece back here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to now go go over to uh, where my knife is. I'm gonna use a straight, straight edge, cut that line. Then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna cut this line here. And I'm gonna take this out to my woodworking shop and um, uh, cut it. Uh, but one thing I just dawned on me is I didn't, I missed a mark that I need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back where it was. Okay. I have a little angle piece over here that I've got to take care of as well. So let me show you what, what that is. So if you, this piece right here comes in straight this straight edge. So it's actually narrower here. So what I have to do is when I cut this straight line, I then have to cut this piece uh, to match it. Okay. I hope that makes sense to everybody. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, make those cuts to the cardboard, go out to my woodworking shop, make that those cuts, uh, and then bring that piece back. And uh, I'll show you that piece uh, when I give you an update about everything else I'm doing today. So, Anyway, clamps in the way. We'll see you on down the tracks. Bye.